God bless you. Pastor Bob. Well, let's get excited in the Lord's house. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on, come on. Thank you, Lord. We're blessed to be in the Lord's house. Hallelujah. Come on, let's raise the praise in this house. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. You're in God's house tonight. There's not a better place to be than in the house of the Lord. Amen. Coming together with our brothers and sisters, honoring the Lord and bringing him glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Worshiping the Lord. Thanking the Lord. Hallelujah. We have a lot to thank the Lord about. You know, some days may be hard, but we have nothing to complain about. Don't come into God's house, mopey and dopey. Oh, but if you come in mopey and dopey, get delivered in the house. Hallelujah. Because you're not, you're where you live, where we live, we're blessed. We're not living in a third world country. Come on. We're not starving. None of us is starving in this house. It's obvious. Hallelujah. <laughs> Come on, we have shoes on our feet, and we all know that song, and I've been singing that song, you know, I sang that song to Benai when he was a baby, and we all know about, we have a roof up above us, a good place to sleep, food on our table, shoes on our feet, you give us your love, Lord, and a fine family. Thank you, Lord, for your blessings on me. Hallelujah. Change your attitude in the house tonight. Come on. Change your attitude in the house tonight. You know, there's sometimes we can be like, oh, my gosh, is he not? Things just ain't going the way I want it to go. You know, blah, 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 blah. We have nothing to complain about. Thank you, Lord. Lord, be glorified in this place tonight. We thank you, Lord, for your goodness in our lives. We pray, Lord, for those who are less fortunate. We thank you, Lord, for your goodness in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Joyful, joyful today, today. Said I woke up in the summer, shining through, calling up a friend, asking what's new, feeling a little bit I'm on something new. Today, today. I ain't gonna let no clouds get in my way. The only one I'm walking is the one I'm being. Sitting in the sun, no time to change. Today, today. Everybody, but we're out of here today. Today, so fast, life comes and goes. Yeah. Make it last, best slow you grow. They don't take it as a choice, but you gotta know that today, today. Oh 
Okay, okay. Tell your neighbor, you got the joy. Okay? You got the joy. You got the joy, joy. Down in your heart. Down in your heart. Down in your heart. You got the joy, joy. Down in your heart. Down in your heart. Down in your heart. You got the joy, joy. Down in your heart. Down in your heart. Down in your heart. You got the joy, joy. Down in your heart. Down in your heart. Down in your heart. choose not to. Hallelujah. 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 We're going to, even when we don't feel like doing it, we're going to praise. Hallelujah. Come on, we're going to praise the Lord. Yes. Even Hallelujah. sometimes when we're too tired because we worked all day long, oh, just save it. <laughs> Doesn't matter how long or how hard you work, you still have it in you to praise Hallelujah. the Lord. Hallelujah, because if it wasn't for the Lord, you wouldn't even have that strength in you. You wouldn't even have that breath in you. That's right. We have a lot to praise the Lord about. But we have to make that choice. No matter what, we're going to praise you, Lord. No matter what, we're going to praise you, Lord. Yep, today was hard, but you know what, Lord? You're worthy of all praise. You're worthy, Lord. Come on, let's worship. Hallelujah. Come 
one that's worship.
just bow our hearts before the Lord tonight. Lord, you are holy. strength you are 
our strong tower. You are our savior. You are our healer. You are our Lord. You are the one who deserves all the glory. You are the one. We thank you that we get to participate in this wonderful thing that you are doing on this earth. Thank you, Lord. We love you. We thank you, Jesus, again and again for the blood shed on Calvary. Thank you, Lord, for the wonderful sacrifice that you gave for us. Thank you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We honor you in this house. We pray again for this state. We pray for this nation. We pray, Lord, for our government. And the only reason why we are sane, Lord, is it, it's because of you. You give us a sound mind. The only reason why we live is because of you, Lord. So we thank you. We honor you in this house today and every day. We give you all the glory, all the honor, all the praise. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. To receive all glory, all honor, all praise. Hallelujah. You are worthy, Lord. Worthy, Lord. In Jesus' name, all of God's kids say amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. We thank the pastors for the opportunity to speak and share. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We always thank you for your generous giving this month. $760 went over to Myanmar, Pastor Morris and his 25 orphans, seven outreach church pastors. They're all thankful. Hallelujah. I get to see the weekly updates on WhatsApp, but, you know, they know. They know your hearts. It's big, especially when you're kind of like a landlocked region and you have a military junta bombing and crushing the people but they still continue on you know planning Amen. doing what they can knowing hey some people sacrificing helping us out out there you know it's like wow and even the the title Maui Strong I was thinking of Lahaina Strong because uh, on that, the only tunnel we have going to Lahaina, on the side, you know, people spray, you know, Lahaina strong, you know. It's like, whoa, all right. Praise be to God, Concer you know. Today's a good night walking in the Jewish festivals and harvest seasons things like that this being October in Asia they would have had their summer rains planting the rice some early October nice cool December sunshiny weather people out cutting the fields like that bringing in the rice harvest eating up the old stores bringing on the new having that festivals and things like that you know it's like yeah praise God praise God but for those online you know here in Hawaii we say ikaika for strong and so you know you all online saw what happened um, in Lahaina Front Street and the regions you know people families still going to see the memories and remnants of their belongings, what's left. And the people, after these grieving times, coming together, s strengthening, doing things. And, you know, now it's what, 56 days since it happened, and it's 
you know, almost a couple months, but things happening, people pulling together, churches, and people giving, you know, it's like, praise God, the true heart, you know, Amen. of our revival in, in the islands. And the title, is, uh, our text scripture is in First Timothy chapter 6, verse 6, New King James Version. We'll read that. Well, read them three times just to get them in your heart. It says, Now godliness with contentment is great gain. Now godliness with contentment is great gain. Now godliness with contentment is great gain. And for those online who see that mountain point in the back, it's uh, Iao Nido up in our valley right here in Wailuku, Iao Nido. And you may be seated. Thank you for reverencing the word. Hallelujah. Estambre shele casa o proko bovala shambre shele costo. Yeah, when we are weak, we lean into the Holy Ghost, and then He is strong. Elemando sopro. Timothy 6 6. Kind of want to cover a little bit of passages in there, you know, just maybe. Some of the people, you know, whose families, you know, might be tuning in or just thinking on the latter part of life or others who have gone on, you know. And beginning with verse 6, it says, But godliness with contentment is great gain. For we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. Amen. And having food and clothing, with these we shall be content. But those who desire to be rich fall in temptation and a snare, and into many foolish and hurtful lusts, which drown men in destruction and perdition. For the love of money is the root of all kinds of evil, for which some have strayed from the faith in their greediness, and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. And we'll see also that we're not greedy, covetousness, or the fine line of not being strayed to the dark side, but just knowing in these times you will be prospering and God will pour out wealth for you to bless people, bless their hurting and things in, you know, Lahaina or the nations and stuff like that. He's going to turn the tide. And so you just prepare your heart, guarding your heart, thinking, praying for the plans that he has for you to develop, and it's much bigger than you can ask or imagine. Yeah. Verse 11 says, But you, O man of God, flee these things and pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, gentleness. Fight the good fight of faith, lay hold on eternal life to which you were also called and have confessed the good confession in the presence of many witnesses. I urge you in the sight of God who gives life to all things and before Christ Jesus who witnessed the good confession before Pontius Pilate that you keep this commandment without spot blameless until our Lord Jesus Christ appearing which he will manifest in his own time he who is the blessed and only potentate or sovereign, the King of kings and Lord of lords, who alone has immortality dwelling in unapproachable light, whom no man has seen or can see, to whom be glory, to whom be honor and everlasting power. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the last three verses says, Command those who are rich in this present age not to be haughty, or trust in uncertain riches, but in the living God who gives richly all things to enjoy. Let them do good, that they be rich in good works, ready to give, willing to share, storing up for themselves a good foundation for the time to come, that they may lay hold on eternal life. Amen. And so you have, you know, your plans that will come to pass. So he's just kind of preparing our hearts, Stay on the victory side. Stay on that side of success and victory, and you'll not go astray. Amen. Amen. And so, in the good things of life, 
one of the most important physical things that you can have and possess is your life and your health good life and health and you know all that other wealth and monies and things that's coming and stuff can go by the wayside you know and I remember um, even as a young elementary kid you know in Wailuku where you have the uh, the tanning place where they uh, have tanning lotion they produce that it used to be an HMF glass and so me and my friend you know kind of like the end of collecting all of our uh, cans and bottles and everything and there was like a fence behind by the glass outside area and climbing that six foot wire and getting that few cans and I sl sliced my foot on the on, on a big glass pane oh. after that it's like uh, I got back out I told my friend yeah, you can have all my cans and the bags. It's like I going home already, you know. <laughs> forget everything. Forget the money we was trying to get and everything. It's like go home, take care of yourself, you know. Slice like that. It's like, wow. In, in things of life, sometimes uh, in the things we are pursuing like that, it's wow. Your health, family, loved ones is so vital, you know. And one of my two favorite scriptures is in Galatians chapter 3 13 and 14 it says Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law the curse of the law for the nation of Israel when they broke the law you know they had uh, poverty sickness spiritual death but Christ when he came purchased you, redeemed us from the curse of the law, having become a curse for us, for it is written, cursed is everyone who hangs on a tree, that the blessing of Abraham might come upon the Gentiles in Christ Jesus, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Amen. Verse 29, and if you are Christ, then are you Abraham's seeds and heirs according to the promise. Who, hallelujah, he has given you prosperity healing and eternal life the blessings the blessings of God y you can stand upon them as you do also first Peter 224 you can quote them but it's good to feast your eyes on it and look and read we'll read from verse 22 who committed no sin nor was guile found in his mouth who when he was reviled did not revile in return when he suffered he did not threaten but committed himself to him who judges righteously who himself bore our sins in his own body on the tree that we having died to sins might live for righteousness by whose stripes you were healed past tense by whose stripes you were have already been healed for you were like sheep going astray, but having now returned to the shepherd and overseer of your souls. <coughs> Hallelujah. Jesus is so faithful and loving to us. And he sent his Holy Spirit reminding us, encourages us. You know, he will perform his word. Amen. Hallelujah. He will perform his word. He's not a man that he should lie, but he will perform, bring it forth to pass. Also, you know, that when people reach the latter stages of their life, you know, they kind of want to clear their heart of offenses and, you know, debts or wrongdoings and different things and having that clear conscience. So in Luke chapter 7, verse 41 through 50, Luke chapter 7. And also when you keep a clear heart, clear conscience, your faith works better. Amen. In verse 41, it says, Now there was a certain creditor who had two debtors, one owed 500 denarii and the other 50. And when they had nothing with which to repay, he freely forgave them both, telling, Tell me, therefore, which of them will love him more? 
Simon answered and said, I suppose the one whom he forgave more. And he said to him, You have rightly judged. Then he turned to the woman and said to Simon, Do you see this woman? I entered your house. You gave me no water for my feet, but she has washed my feet with her tears and wiped them with her hair and her head. You gave me no kiss, but this woman has not ceased to kiss my feet since the time I came in. You did not anoint my head with oil, but this woman has anointed my feet with fragrant oil. Therefore I say unto you, her sins, which are many, are forgiven, for she loveth much. But to whom little is given, the same loves little. And he said to her, your sins are forgiven. And those who sat at the table with him began to say to themselves, Who is this who even forgives sin? Then he said to the woman, Your faith has saved you. Go in peace. Amen. Oh, so this very day, all her past sins and thoughts and relationships and it attacking her mind and her fullness and relationship with God and here Jesus comes. She heard about him, followed him, came to the house, gave up her costly oil that she has been saving in her life. With her tears, washed her, his feet. And he, he says, your sins are forgiven. Your release. Have a clear conscience, pure before God. You can stand before him, righteous, continue your, your day, you know. And he, he wouldn't tell her, but in a few days I'll be gone you know you'll only have the word that I spoke to you to encourage you but you know you'll carry on to go on <coughs> and do great things for me and also the the part of the debt forgiveness because sometimes you know the people were concerned about uh, homes and mortgages and you know what can happen and man's system of uh, you know you gotta work 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 and barely can make it you know in life and everything and before just the men used to work women stay home with the kids but now both side has to work 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 you know and the system has changed and the inflating dollar and everything like that it's like you know what can things buy but thank God in this time there are people releasing debt from other people and you know they don't even don't, they don't only have to make it off of the backs of their brothers but God set the principle you know yeah you work hard you know you have some rent and you have slaves or people you know back in Israel and after seven years release them set them free Amen. cut cut their bondage and everything you know and then come this new year you know we can start again you have seven more years you know and Rosh Hashanah the new Jewish year and the start like that and Yom Kippur Day of Atonement repentance judgment purification justice freedom of slaves debt cancellation cleanse your house inherit your promise Hallelujah. When you search yourself, purify your life and everything, motives, everything, get your heart clean, you know, and the symbolism, cleaning the house, and now you go forth, go, go ahead, you know, you can prosper. God will give you the wisdom to prosper, to help and prepare and things like that, and other workers, and the, you know, the servants would also come back to their masters and says, you know, nail our ear to the post man and we want to stay with you for another year or seven years or so you know and because you were so good to us and everything there's prosperity under your um kibbutz in in places like that you know so god made a way and so how much more in these times that he will release he will trust you got the vision your heart is pure and the abundance that come is like unimaginable exceeding abundantly above all you could ask think imagine it's like wow praise God and then you'll be so busy because you know as you have given 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 through the the years you know and it's like wow it's true 
you can prove and test him. Sukkot is the Feast of Tabernacles. The Tabernacles was the booths or the huts that they set up. And in current day, they put them on their patio outside, you know, symbolizing when their ancestors came out of Egypt under all that bondage, that they too had to live in the wilderness, hard times and things like that, and uh, made sacrifices, trusting God in the wilderness like that. And, you know, you think too, hey, down in Lahaina, Lahaina Luna Road, there's only that one uh, big tower and the mill, you know, taken down and then all the ashes that we see from the highway looking down and everything. But many an immigrant was plowing those fields and the pineapple fields on the hillsides going up and up and up and up and, you know, struggling together, working together, you know, watching them sunsets and everything like that. But God has a hope. God has a plan, you know. They stay God, they keep trusting God, and there's release that can come from his people. Even as the different churches have, have you know, been able to give, and I saw one gentleman on online who was, uh, you know, to GoFundMe raising a million dollars, but then he turned around and, you know, was giving to churches and ministries who helped the Lahaina recovery effort, 100,000. Another check, 100,000. It's like, wow, praise God, you know. The Just a change of heart and the giving. And hey, just think, you know, the, the blessings for the people, the increase in their own lives and the givers like that. Because we're, we are reminded in Malachi chapter 3, chapter 3 beginning with verse 10 it says bring all the tithes into the storehouse that there may be food in my house and prove or test me now in this says the Lord of hosts if I will not open for you the windows of heaven and pour out for you such blessing that there shall not be room enough to receive it and I will rebuke the devourer for your sake so that he will not destroy the fruit of your ground nor shall the vine fail to bear fruit for you in the field says the Lord of hosts and all nations will call you blessed and you will be a delightful land says the Lord of hosts hallelujah the open, open portals of heaven the windows of heaven open heavens you know they like planning telescopes on Haleakala because being in the middle of the Pacific and so high you're so close to the stars of heaven at night you know clear view without c reflections of city lights and everything but how much more the open portals of God's blessings just, just focusing on you to your generous tithes and offerings and as you have planted uh, seeds into you know Myanmar and those outreach pastors I see some pictures you know from the Laos Mekong River area this one guy comes with his uh, racketooted <laughs> that's an old word racketooted motorcycle and then he comes visit Pastor Morris, Morris breaks out his uh, little ledger book, you know, uh, write out the information and everything, and then from his stores, give him some blessing like that, you know. It's like, all right, praise the Lord. And then another young man from the mountain congregations, they kind of, I think they sense also, it's like, hey, end of the month, Maybe, you know, something going to come in. But this m month, I was kind of like late beginning of this month. 
but still, you know, 27,000 baht, you know, it's like, wow, they can div you them up, you know, for like maybe 2,000 or 3,000 is $100. So, or oh, $100 for, you know, they give to the different peoples and then the kids get all their, you know, whether it's slippers or something for school, 25 of them, you know, they got to line up and then get all their stuff like that. So, in a way, you know, through the different apps and uh, things, you know, we can still move and help people like that. But how much more in the, you know, outpouring time when these investments come in that you have made and, and your creative ideas and your idea lion air your idea that creates a billionaire, you know, things like that can help you out. It's like, just dream, dreaming big, you know. And so God wants to pour out and bless and rejoice because your worship comes back before him and he's so thankful, you know. And the Sukkot was when they came out of Egypt they received a double thanksgiving to God for the fruitfulness of the Lord. And it, in the Gematria for the new year is their 5784 year. And this rabbi Felix Halpern mentioned, prepare for astonishment and shock. An anomaly of irregularity depart from normal streams of thought. Amen. So, you know, you're thinking out of the box or if you go in public or doing something you never do, it's like, whoa, a new era, radical church. Adapt, change, renew life. Take dominion and steward it. And he provides all that unlimited resources and things, you know, was burnt down something will rise up from the ashes incredible unimaginable it's like wow that's his church he's raising up that is what's happening from the you know not only on our west side but all over the world the remnant the people are hanging on having faith and God is moving through people signs wonders miracles happening you know Every time I, you know, have listened to Benaya, I listen when he closes the service. It's like, yeah, that's right. That's right. Be given the building. Debt free. All right. Yeah. Preaching. The healing and the health and the life and everything is like, yeah, you know. Because a pure heart from... From, from a child, you know, just coming for, singing for, having the freedom now, and, and not only a few bars, but going through the, more of the song, you know, it's like, all right, praise God, you know, the declaration and everything will set people free, and, you know, that healing anointing springing forth, it's like, wow, shoo, yeah, under the spout, what a glory comes out, yeah, <laughs> praise God. Also in Isaiah 61 3, Isaiah 61 3. Sixty-one, three. I know a minister, you know, in, in the lag time when you turn in the pages, he would say, For the Lord is good, and his mercy endures forever. Amen. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, for the Lord is good, and his mercy endures forever. Amen. We had that word about mercy. And 61.3 says, to console those who mourn in Zion, to give them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, 
the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they may be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he may be glorified. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To give them beauty for ashes that they went through. And the oil of joy for their mourning, their compassionate. Be blessed. Be forgiven of your debt. Forgiveness of sin and release in God's supernatural provision in, in life, you know. 1 Corinthians 15, 55. You have heard this. 1 Corinthians 15. Corinthians 15. Fifty-five says, O death, where is your sting? O Hades, where is your victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He gives us victory in the lives and hardships and I just want to close know when to close early at the right time and those watching online who have never received Christ I want to pray with you. Have you enter into the kingdom, which is the most important decision of your life? And you can repeat after me. It says, Dear Heavenly Father, ask you to forgive me my sins. I receive Jesus as Lord in my life. Thank you, for Jesus, for saving me, healing me, filling me with the Holy Spirit. And I rejoice and I thank you. Amen. Those watching online, you can contact watertruthmaui.org and hit the green button, give a generous offering. The church is thankful for your support and hooking up with us in the outreaches, 22 plus that we do. And one of the key ones for me is I see them, you know, we're helping together, Myanmar. And we just thank you and you have a blessed evening.